Hi guys, welcome to another Stroll C++ tutorial. And this is going to be my last attempt at this lesson because it's my fourth and uh, so far I've failed every single one. But that's okay. This time it's going to work, I know it. So today we'll be learning about I in input streams, input file, file input streams. Wow. Okay, and um, how to read from a file. So. Here, this is still our old uh, file, and I'm gonna be I'm writing to a file, right? Off stream, writing to a file, and I'm opening file data of that. Oh, what a file! Okay, and in that file, I'm gonna write 36, the number 36, and it's gonna represent the age of the user. And uh, well, I determined it for him. I guess he doesn't have a choice. He, the user is 36 years old from now on. Okay, so um, I have this data file already, but I'll delete it and just run this program so that we can make sure that it contains the right value. And the program ran, and here's the data file. It has 36 in it. Great, absolutely great. So I made a new file called file in. As you see here, it uh, already it's already here because uh, that's not the first time I'm doing this tutorial, but um, it's kind of empty, right? So since it's empty, let's um, actually put something in here. And um, I, f I forgot to mention a couple of things here for the uh, for the off, off stream, right? Uh, the off stream, the 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 iOS settings, right? The iOS out is just to write a file. Right, and there, and then there's another useful thing which is called iOS app, which means append. If you already have data in a file and you just want to add something to the end, then you put iOS append. Another one is iOS trunk, which just basically uh, deletes all of the files in there. And the last one, um, my memory is horrible, so I have to look it up, but it's iOS 8, right. And uh, that one sends sets the position of uh, uh, the current or where you're writing basically to the end. So you can overwrite the first line, say, and then go to the end. Oh, here's an advertising. That's enough. Okay. So, but we won't deal with these uh, iOS settings. I'll just put iOS append. All right. IOS um, 8 uh, move to end and IOS uh, trunk erase just as a reminder friendly reminder right? and uh, that's only if you're writing for file stream right you, we don't need it right now so we'll just oops, we'll just do this okay great so here we're going to declare input file stream so if stream and uh, i'm going to call it my in because that's going to be the name of my input stream and i'm going to open a file and or i can just declare it here uh, which will open it right away um, so i could say data dot that um, and then I can go from there, but let's do everything the conventional way. So I first I declare this stream, and now I'm going to say my in dot open and data dot uh, uh, that sorry, and the I/O setting is going to be uh, in because I'm just reading in information. So now I'm going to have an error handler. Uh, just in case the, the file isn't open, right? So if not, my in dot is open. Here's the is open function. So if it's not open, I'm gonna I'm gonna output uh, file not found uh, and l, and then I'm gonna get a character from the user, and I'm gonna terminate the program with uh, exit code like 2 or something. Just in so here's my error handling routine. 
in the case I can't get the file open. But say I did get the file open, right? Uh, I will declare a an integer here at the top of the screen, it's age. And here as we continue this program, right? I'm gonna say my in and uh, my in and just like the scene statement, you remember scene? CN, you used to use the overload operators to get variables. It's kind of the same thing here because you're still dealing with a uh, stream and C++ is nice like that. Writing to files and reading from files is just like writing to the console and reading from the console. It's very easy. So my in uh, overloading operator and now age. And now we'll just put a C out statement here that says your age is and age simple as that and at the e very end we will say get get char and um, let's say you could run this program oops this I meant get char my bad so it says here that my, my age is 36 or no, the user's age is 36 which is what I want it to be because it's uh, in this file, right? Okay, great. So, um, since th this works and uh, works the same thing, let's see how it would work with two data values, right? Or first, let's mess up this thing. So, say I messed up the name a bit, and of course, it wouldn't work. And, but it would tell us file not found so it would know that we screwed up the file name somehow right and it would exit the program without telling me my age this is the error handler done by the error handler so say I have two ages here right and he has a, a person is 36 and he has a son age 12 so I'm gonna put another age h2 here in age h2 and um, I'm going to copy and paste this um, put an end line here and h2 your son's age is h2 well h2 I mean the variable h2 but it says file not found, of course, because I didn't change the file yet. Okay. So now it would say your age is 36, your son's age is 12, because we have 36 and 12. Isn't that awesome? We can also have a string here. Let's see how we would deal with a string. Hello world. Uh, my name is Straw right so we what we would do is first uh, declare string string my string and we keep all of this except for this we'll take all of this out because we don't need it and we're gonna use the get line method with uh, the parameters my in because it's that's the string right and uh, my string because that's where we're storing everything so the get line my in my string and uh, just throw it back at us so see out uh, my string and we're gonna get the first line of this file so supposedly hello world let's try that out Yep, hello world. So let's say I wanted two strings and to get my string two, right? So I would get line my in my string two and see out my string two, right? Great, and let's run it. Oh, I forget. I forgot the end in line here. Right. Great. Okay, and it works. Okay, thank you for watching this tutorial.